Hello and welcome to this hurricane short summary. The star of the show of the 2004 Atlantic hurricane season is here, Hurricane Ivan. This is the third out of the fourth, sorry, out of the four notable hurricanes from this season. The last one will be Jean. Ivan had quite the long track as you can see here and originally started off as TD9, the ninth tropical depression of the season, on September 2nd. Ivan quickly get, gets the name of Ivan and therefore tropical storm status uh, just pretty early the next day and did so at a latitude of just 9.7 degrees north. This is notable because generally in this region you do not see uh, cyclonogenesis it is generally not suitable for uh, the formation of uh, anything tropical storm related, but here Ivan is completely bashing all of that and saying, no, I think I will continue to form, thank you very much, becoming a hurricane on September 5th. Ivan becomes a hurricane at 1,852 kilometers to the east of Tobago. And we see this one orange dot that I am attempting to circle here with my uh, laser pointer right there. And then we see our first two red dots, those being category five intensity labeled. Those would be wind speeds of 132 and 161 miles per hour. Those are reached on the 5th and 8th of September respectively. Ivan's true peak would be reached from the 11th through 12th of September. This peak would be a maximum wind speed of 166 miles per hour and a pressure peak, pressure minimum of 910 millibars. Ivan would actually achieve this pressure peak twice, uh, both on its second and third stint as a category five. On 2 a.m. September 16th, Ivan decides to landfall not on Louisiana that has a big coastline, not on Florida that has all of the coastline, but on Alabama, Gulf Shores, Alabama, with wind speeds of 120 miles per hour. Kudo to Ivan for that aim. That is, the, that's pretty good aim. That, that little tiny dingle of Alabama is a little hard to hit, so kudos. Ivan then proceeds to take a nice and long tour of the southern original 13 colonies and then hit Florida as a remnant low and then lo loops completely, or the loop is finalized, I should say, on September 20th. Ivan is then reclassified as a depression and storm and landfalls near Cameron, Louisiana on the 23rd of September. Ivan would cause $26.1 billion in damage and cause 92 direct as well as 32 indirect deaths. Ivan, with such a long history being a Category 4 going through the Tropic Belt and then uh, looping around, did do a fair bit. First of all, Mostly chronologically, Jamaica would be truly tortured by very strong hurricane force winds around category two to three status for hours on end. As you can imagine, this did some truly devastating damage. On the island of Barbados, around 531 homes would be damaged, and on Grenada, 89% of the island was damaged. That's around 20,000 homes. Out of around the 26 billion uh, done, 20 and a half billion was done in damage just in the US alone. Upon landfall, there would be a storm surge of 14 feet in the area. And it was also close to around the landfall area that we saw a fairly around half of the around half of the number of tornadoes caused. Uh, the other half would be after completing its loop around Louisiana, Texas. Ivan is 
truly the highlight of this season, and it would set a total of 18 records, which is absolutely insane. Starting off, Ivan has the second highest individual ace accumulated cyclone energy in the entirety of the Atlantic Basin history. That ace is 70.4. Ivan would also set the record for being the lowest forming hurricane, as well as major hurricane and category 4, uh, Ivan achieving hurricane status at just 9.5 degrees north latitude and becoming a major hurricane at 10.2 degrees north. Ivan was also the most southerly category 5, reaching category 5 status for its first time at 13.7 degrees north. This was broken by Matthew of, I think Matthew happened in 2017. Matthew achieved Category 5 status, or was Category 5, at 13.4 degrees north, not 0.7. This does bring about the question of, is there a limit to how low a Category 5 can go? Theoretically, no. Um, like Hypothetically, no. Theoretically, yes. But uh, this... 13.4 degrees north still stands today. Ivan would see 33 individual 6-hour periods of Category 5 intensity, 32 of which were consecutive, around 31 or so, which is a very long time for being a Category 5. This hurricane was also the costliest to ever affect the island of Granada, as well as Cayman Island. On top of that being to date, if I'm not mistaken, the costliest hurricane to ever affect Alabama. According to the Hurricane Severity Index, the HSI, which I had no idea was a thing, even while I was researching ACE, um, so I'm going to make a video on that now, uh, this hurricane... Ivan is the 8th most severe mainland U.S. Uh, landfalling hurricane. To date, this can be broken, hopefully it doesn't of course, and very notably this, uh, specifically the remnants low, and then being reclassified as a storm depression around Texas, Louisiana would highlight the term, so it would highlight blue blindness. Blue blindness is called this way because on non-colorblind maps, usually the storm, tropical storm and tropical depression, is denoted by colors of blue. Um, with the Wikipedia's that I've been, Wikipedia images that I that I've been showing you, for the track, it is dark blue for depression and light blue for storm. And many people, to be fair, tend not to pay attention. To when something is called tropical depression 21 or so or tropical storm hurricane is the word that gets people's attention but in my opinion the main thing you should be concerned about is how close it is to land since that's gonna impact whether or not if you're along the coast whether you are impacted or not but that's neither here or there as ivan has already well and gone. It is in the past. Ivan would obviously have its name be retired, and Igor would be introduced to replace Ivan. That, folks, is all that I have for Hurricane Ivan. Again, the star of the show for the 2004 Atlantic hurricane season, for a good reason. I hope that you all learned something and enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. I thank you all so much for watching.